Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Boy, those of us who are on YouTube, we have the opportunity to pump out some serious videos, right? We have time, a lot of time on our hands. So many activities are canceled, appointments, everything that I'm used to doing outside of my home has been put on hold. So I have more time to upload. So please don't get tired of me because I'm sure there will come a time when everything gets back to its normalcy where my time will be taken all over again. I know when I first started and I showed you guys, I said I wasn't going to do videos. I probably wouldn't, but some of you have expressed interest. Some of you like the process. Even if you don't do it yourself, you still like the process. So I like to share it because perhaps it'll stir something up in you. When I'm in the bed and I just can't get out and get into my craft room to put a page together, I can develop a page, a layout, and print it out and do it physically in my Bible, or I can do it right on my iPad. And this is exactly what happened this morning. I was up doing my normal reading and just getting my mind ready for the day, and I thought about this. I just read the chapter in Exodus chapter 33 that my church is reading through the Bible. So we're up to chapter 33, and it inspired and sparked a thought, and I wanted to use this particular, and you'll see it, this particular principle for this thought and as a reminder to me to trust in the Lord. Please join me as I digitally spend time with the Lord. And you know my saying, if I can Bible journal, so can you. And if I can digitally Bible journal, trust me, I'm telling you, you can do it. If you want to, you really can because I was the worst in the beginning, but I'm learning as I go and I'm really enjoying the process. Take care. I went ahead and pre-cut or cropped, so to speak, the elements that I wanted to use for my page. I'm using a screen record on my iPad. Hopefully this one will work correctly. This is what it ends up looking like. The original app that I was using did not record the screen, so I had to do it all over again, just like before. This time I think this particular app is going to work. So I'm going to just reconstruct, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to reconstruct the same layout that you just saw so you guys can see the process now what you see me doing squeezing it's cropping the space because when you put the elements down it takes up a certain area of space and the less space there is the more items you can place without them bumping into each other or sometimes it won't lay if you don't crop everything as closely um, as you can so I'm just doing a building like a little scene. I like doing that with um, Bible journaling. I mean, digitally Bible journaling as well. Just kind of building a scene. This particular little lamp thing that is from Praise and Pray. My grass is from Praise and Pray. So I'm just going to talk you through this, and then I'll let you know what inspired this particular this video. I found this cute little two dollar printable from Paper Polaroid on Etsy, and I thought it was so cute. It just simply says, what we walk by faith and not by sight. And this young lady, excuse me, with this curly hair, which I love. So I just love it. And I'm just building the scene. I'm just placing the bike down. And I am going to, that is from Vin Bonnerlay. I am strong in the Lord. So all of those digital downloads that I have, I'm able to cut and paste them in different layouts and create a whole new layout for myself. I'm just putting together some things that I have to make it more personal for me and I'm grateful for that so I'm just building my little scene here and then you're going to see a little bird with a balloon that's from praise and pray as well like I said just picking out different places and different things that match and that I can use so just to kind of build a scene and then to the right I am going to put in my thoughts or my devotion and the card that I'm going to use to type in my devotion, that is from Garmin of Splendor. That is one of her journaling cards that I'm using digitally. And I'm coming from Exodus 33. And this is where the Israelites, Moses goes up to get the tablets for the Ten Commandments. And the Israelites make a golden calf. They don't know what's happened to Moses. Instead of them trusting the Lord and trusting the leader that the Lord had before them, they went on their own and and conjured up a God themselves. They made a golden calf. Because they couldn't see the true and living God, because they couldn't see their leader, they decided to walk by sight instead of faith. And they should have trusted the Lord. They should have known their leader was going to hear instructions from the Lord. But just like us, they went on their own. 
and this is what happened. And I was just writing a brief note that during this time that we're struggling with, that I don't want to be like the people of Israel, like just because I don't think I see the Lord and I don't see him physically moving yet, I know that he is still moving and I'm going to walk by faith and not by what I see out here on the news and the government, what the media is saying. I will take hold and take heed to the precautions that are given to me, but I know that my life, my, my being, everything that I am, it moves according to the Lord's plan and I'm just going to trust him and I won't be like them and make my own God. I'm going to trust in the true and living God. So that's what inspired this page. However you choose to spend time with the Lord, do it creatively, do it in art of worship to him and enjoy the time you spend with the Lord. Thank you for watching and take care.